Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement as I'm about to watch for the first time, True Blood, season five, episode six, streaming now on HBO Max. And the Scooby gang has stumbled upon Russell looking deceptively weak. I say deceptively because I, I think he's gonna, they didn't bring him back just to kill him off immediately. So something's gonna go down and the number of people he has drained to get to the point he is now crazy, crazy pants. This is a show, especially a season where I honestly, I, I don't know what's going to happen next because we've got the Russell thing. We've got the Brujo inside Lafayette. Terry's off with Scott Foley and some fire eating fire monster that eats people. Uh, what else do we have? We've got, oh, oh, okay. So... Luna, Luna, Pumpkin Girl, you just were told your friends were shot in cold blood. You know that there's a werewolf clan out there who does not have good feelings towards you. You hear shooting outside. You're going to run outside and there's a truck full of you with guys in masks and big old guns and you're still going to run? What? What? And she died? Is she dead now? If she's dead, what's going to happen with Emma? And they're after shifters. Okay, we've only known four shifters. Five, if you count Tommy. Of course, you're going to count Tommy. But Sam's little group was four shifters. And if all the shifters are dead... What? What, what, what? So, I know there's more. I know there's more. out. Oh, the fairies. Jason and fairies and Jessica and Pam. And again, it is a potpourri of stuff. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I am excited to get to it. And I'm so glad that you're with me. But before we do, I'm going to take a quick second to talk about our sponsor. That's right. I have a sponsor today and that is moviepalette.com. I enjoy subtle celebrations of fandom. And I saw Movie Palette a few months ago and I went, wow, that is subtle to a whole other level. It is abstract art canvases where it's represented each line is it the predominant color of a scene in a film? So basically you have the entire movie being told in strips of color across the canvas. They have a variety of movie selections, including my top three favorite films of all times, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, some television series. And if you can't find what you like, you can custom order one yourself. So check them out. Holidays are coming up, y'all. Need a present for somebody who has everything and is really geeky? Check out moviepalette.com. Use promo code Anna15 upon checkout. Get 15% off, off your order. And they're having a sale right now as well. So <laughs> link to their website will be down in the description below. Oh, there's mine right there. <laughs> okay, so I am locked and loaded with my blanket. I've got an Anna B with me. I will share that recipe with you when I have perfected it. Thanks y'all for joining me and let's get to it. Oh, that's right, LC took off for some reason. Oh, they are in, oh, they're in the cold storage. Hmm. You're just what the doctor ordered. Pre fairy. Oh my god, Eric, just hurry up and do it! He dies. We die, most certainly. Why? But if we take him back alive, maybe we don't have to die. They should have just filmed Eric Steak and Russell. I'd be done with it. Please. We will take over from here. They were there the whole time. They were there the whole time. And just take them and get it over with. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and that's right. Jessica and Tara fighting with Hoyt. <laughs> they got her. I guess that whole friendship thing's on hold. Come with me. <laughs> Meanwhile, is Hoyt just on the bathroom floor? Oh, nope, there he is. 
You did good out there, Fidey. Made me proud. Proud the way a human is proud of a well-trained dog. I think Pam needs to work on her mentoring skills. Oh, yeah, these yahoos. He told you he saw it. Run. Run. And you can't shoot it. You're no better than humans with your absurd, magical thinking. There is no lily. That is blasphemy. <laughs> You're fucking worse than humans. I think, what's her name, Salome? She's one of these sang sanguinistas, and I think there's a whole lot more on the council, and I would not be surprised if everyone but the Guardian is a sanguinista. We had another human with us that we needed because he'd remembered coming here before. They know too much. <gasps> Nothing that a little glamouring won't take care of. You got a glamour, Sookie? Look me in the eyes. Bill, are you? I think Eric will glamour I'll seed. We owe you all. Who is Doug? Oh, God. <laughs> I understand you have been brought here once before. Yes, by a vampire. I can identify her. Or the look in her eyes when she said we were all going to die for the glory of God. I think they're all dead. And then will you please do that, that thing that you do so that I won't remember any of this? I have my word. I think they're all dead. And you will always protect Suki. But you'll keep your hands off her. Romantically speaking, she kind of disgusts you. Is he glamoring her in? For reals? Okay. And you will live your life as you were meant to live it. Right, glamoring doesn't work on Sookie, right? Where did she go? Did she go to her grandmother's? Hey! Oh. Just leave her alone, Hoyt. I'm just so happy. Really? Hmm. Why? I learned something tonight. You wanna know what? You still care about me. Well, she never said she didn't, dumbass. Oh, you don't want to be in love with me, but you are. You want to feed on me 24-7? I want oh, that. Wait, be... we're over. <laughs> yeah, that's what you say. But what's in your heart is something. Hey, you want to glamour me? Me into doing anything that you've ever wanted to do with a human being, no matter how depraved? I don't give a fuck. But will you please just do it with me? Here's your self-respect, pumpkin. Wait, this is not you. This is me, goddammit! Chill. Dude, chill. How do we get here? Eric really glamoured him. <laughs> the Guardian will be extremely pleased. Pleased enough to not execute us? Only Lilith knows that. As only she knows all. And also with you? Is that the equivalent? I have a feeling we're gonna have some dead humans here in a moment. Will we receive any kind of financial restitution? I just want to get out of here. Of course. Please fasten your seatbelts. Forget that. Wow, he looks like he could be his dad as Crazy Pants casting. I won't find that vampire that killed you. How? And I'll make him pay for what they did to our family. How? The only thing you have to fear. It's me. Is did you just recoil from me? Close your eyes. Oh, 
look what her powers can do now. Oh, fucking JD. Thank you. <laughs> There's no way I could sit around and watch it happen again. It's fucking Jackson all over it. So what you gonna do, pumpkin? Lona. Mm. Sir. Oh good god, Sam. Who would want to kill shifters? Who wouldn't at this point? Oh, that was quick. There is someone after shifters. Can you keep her safe until we figure out who that is? Of course. Could be her for all we know. Doctor, look, I gotta get out. What are you saying? Stop the goddamn truck! Oh, Jesus, Terry. Mm -hmm. He's... I think being in the car will be faster than running. We are cursed and there's no escape from it. Private! Fuck Listen. you! I'm not your goddamn private no more! <laughs> you ordered me to do something evil and wrong! I knew it was too good to be true. Arlene, I just ain't the kind of guy that gets to have something like that. I'll see you back in the truck. So we just saw se several stages of grief in just a blink of an eye, didn't we? Excuse me. Uh, Ruby Jean Reynolds. Oh yeah, Ruby's talking to Jesus' head. They're all talking to Jesus' head. But he wants to talk to you. Well, where he at? He was an evil man. Made him drink goat blood. Don Bartolo. That's a bad man. Is that his grandfather? Mama, how do you know all this? I ain't got no fucking clue, baby. <laughs> The electricity just runs through me. Jesus loves you, even if you were abomination. Thanks, Mom. Oh. Men are just dogs. Dogs you cannot depend on for nothing, no matter how good they've been to you or how different you thought this one was. Except for Andy. You can depend on them for one thing. Disappointment. Is that what she's trying to say? Trouble. Ah. Hadley's working at this um fairy night club that I went to. Fairy night club? Are you back home, V? Why would she not believe uh, that there's a club? I can get into places a human can't. I got a personal stake in this. I can't condone vigilante justice. Fuck you, Andy. <laughs> you either let me help you find these motherfuckers or I'll do it on my own. God, he is such a fucking parody of himself. I hate him. What is happening here? <gasps> Wait, what is happening here? Oh, I'll see it. You ain't a member of this pack. Well, I don't remember resigning. Is Al Seed gonna take over the pack? That arrangement includes you sucking down vampire blood like it's mother's milk. But you're gonna take down several of these wolves with you. Just like you did Nate and Woody already. Listen. Oh, that's what those wolves were. Ah, okay. I accept the role of master of this pack. Woo! We got a new pack bastard now. Who? Let me guess. You. Me. Oh, he'll fight you, pumpkin. And just how did that happen? Well, ain't nobody challenged me. And let me be the first. Yeah? Where's your second? Well, which one of you's willing to be his second? Pumpkin girl, there you go. You want punishment, Hervo? Well, I'll be happy to give it to you. Just say when. Now. Watch your back! Oh, you watch your back, pumpkin. No welcoming party. At least it's not a firing squad. Yet. You got the thing strapped to your chest, though. They don't need a firing squad. And we don't need these anymore. Uh, take them off of them. Salome has been interrogating Russell, but... Well, he's been a little tight-lipped. Bills isn't off yet. He's the strongest vampire I've ever met. Oh, he's been silvered. He's quite impaired. Trust me. <laughs> My boys! Okay. I feel better now. Feels free. 
officially known as the guys who took down Russell Edgington. Why is he dressed like he was just playing golf? Are those blood mimosas they're drinking? Okay. But you do believe that the sanguinist um, vision of morality endorses slavery, torture, and the rape of those who delivered us into the life before death. Oh, that is a way to look at it. Hmm. Hmm. I should continue interrogating our prisoner. Don't bother. We're going to execute him. But we're at war. I must admit, I do find it ironic that we... Oh, God, he's working towards something. Has he been silvered? Less than an hour ago. I don't think he was. You will be at the execution. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. And you? Oh, I love a good execution. Things are going to go awry. Things are going to go awry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mary and Joseph. Terry. Oh, I'm a god. <laughs> I got a curse put on me in Iraq. Honey, there's no such thing as a curse. Why does she not believe these things? Does she not know I mean, where she was, lives? Why would she curse you? You didn't shoot her kid. Well, I shot her. So I was aiming my gun at her head, and then I put three bullets in her. I will help you through anything life can dish out. I can't do anything if you aren't staying on your meds. Oh, Arlene, why is she? Oh. Where is it? Somewhere in this field. Perry's a cloaked to some Howard's, some other dimension just next to us. No, it doesn't make a lick of sense, but... Oh, there you go. Hey! Bring him back here! Come on, Jason. Hey. Oh! That's my fucking time! <laughs> Vicky. It's so good to see you again, Vicky. You and scrape and cream up. Oh, that guy, okay. Who team is my sister? Vicky, take the dirt road out to the fort. Oh, this guy. This guy. What's your name? Junior. You sell wooden bullets, Junior? We sure do. You keep a record of who you sell those to? Is Sam coming in human form the best thing possible? But. <laughs> That's enough bullets for half the people who live in this whole parish. I got some right here. You want to see them? Yeah. Andy! Uh, uh. <laughs> Smell them go into survival mode. You just saved my life! That's for Emery and Suzanne, you human piece of shit. What kind of police report is that? Oh, wait. Your heart's slowing way down. Maybe we ought to call it quits. Yes. Mm. He wants to die. Hey! Die, Sanger! <gasps> Ew! 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 Jesus Christ! What for me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, did vampires kill our mom and daddy? I, I wasn't supposed to tell you. Did they? Hadley, Hadley doesn't do very well at keeping secrets now, does she? A vampire ambushed your parents. He was drawn to them by something he smelled in the backseat of their car. Oh. No! I don't believe you. I don't believe any. Why wouldn't she believe him? <laughs> well, one has decreed Russell's execution tonight. That was a code. That was a code. I want to gorge on human blood, not because some fucking Bible tells me to, but because I like it. Are you done? Something bad's going down. Huh? 
There it is! There it is! This is for pussies! There it is! Crazy. We saw that one coming. We saw it coming. Just how many on the council, though? <laughs> We're against Roman. Yeah, because even if Russell has people on the council, how many of the guards are with him? So how are Eric and Bill going to get out of this? And then what happens after that? happens after that? Is there some war between humans? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And now we got some guys with Hoyt. Now Hoyt likes being sucked on by vampires. So they will, will they be able to convince him to, to go on their side and hunt them? Luna survived. That's good. And Terry's just left. Terry's just left for now. Just waiting to die. Okay, and Lafayette's off to find Jesus' grandfather? Is that it? <laughs> right now, I'm not sure what the end game is for this season. Because before we had people that we needed to defeat. We needed to defeat um, Marianne. We needed to defeat Marianne. And we needed... To defeat Russell the first time. And we needed to defeat Renee. I don't know who we need to defeat. Because everyone's just kind of hodgy podgy woogly googly. Queen Mab's still in the mix. Somewhere, somehow. <laughs> I don't know. And that is the wacky world of True Blood. And I think that's why we enjoy it. Although right now I'm getting a little bit too... I'm just floating on the lazy river, y'all. I'm just floating on the lazy river with my cocktail, enjoying what I can see most of the time. <laughs> yes, I could do with one or two fewer storylines. That, I think, if they tightened up the rest of them, that would have made me happier. But here we go. We're halfway through season five. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I do hope that you've hit subscribe, that you're taking care of yourself, did you eat something today? Stretch your bodies. Order a, a movie palette. Get member 15% off and a 15 upon checkout. And then come back and see me. So until next time, y'all. <laughs>